Hi everyone, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com. I'm going to speak to you about reconciliation work today. I've had a request to speak about this, and instead of telling you how to perform reconciliation magic in terms of what candles to use or what herbs to use, etc., I'm going to tell you how to make reconciliation magic work. Um, the techniques and methods that I use to make it work for me and what you can do to make it work for yourself. Also what you can do if you are a client of mine and we are working on reconciliation together. So in this video we're really going to talk about um, the foundations of the work, the structure of it, and the elements of it that really um, are underneath the spiritual work. So my very first important thing in reconciliation work is, is it in your best interest? As my clients, um, I have your best interests, your emotional health, your well-being, your mental health in mind. If I feel that this is a relationship that is not good for you, if I feel this person is going to continue to hurt you, or that this person cannot be healed or helped from the issues that they may have, then I will not agree to do reconciliation work for you. What I will agree to do is help you move on from the relationship, help you find someone new, help you with healing, from the relationship, help you with your personal strength and self-confidence, anything of that nature, but I will not reconcile you to a relationship which is unhealthy and which has the potential to continue to be unhealthy. So in order to determine that, I will ask you some questions. It is necessary in reconciliation work for me to discuss your situation and your relationship with you. I need to have some details. I need to have some history of the relationship. I need to know some of the circumstances, um, whatever issues you had in the relationship. Every relationship has issues. No relationship is perfect. There are always problems. Obviously, if you've broken up, then there was a problem that caused that breakup. So we do need to discuss that. Um, I will not take a case in which the client is unwilling to discuss those details with me. I need trust. We need transparency. And I need to know what the real deal is. Um, and those are some of the ethics of my reconciliation work. The next thing is, what is the root of the problem? We're not going to treat the symptoms. We're not just going to do magic that's simply about drawing you two back together or attracting you two to each other. We're not going to do magic that's simply about increasing love or making this person think of you or increasing passion and attraction. We have to get to the root of the problem. If you've broken up, then there was a problem that caused you to break up. So we need to look at that problem. And then that is what we will treat. And most often it has to do with communication, healing, trust, or commitment. Those are some very common things that need to be worked on in order to reconcile. Um, one of those is typically the, the root of the problem. And even if it isn't the root of the problem, I find that very often we need an element of communication and either trust or commitment to be present in reconciliation work in order to make it work, in order to see the results. You can't get back together with somebody unless you have open, honest, and clear communication. Um, you cannot make a relationship work if you are riddled with fear and you do not trust that person. You cannot make a relationship work if you are too insecure to consider commitment. So those things really have to be worked on and focused on and I find that each reconciliation service is very highly unique. We need to focus on the things, the, the qualities, energies, and attributes that are most needed in order to make your relationship work, in order to draw the two of you back together and get you working together again so that reconciliation falls into place as a natural flow of this process. Very often it just takes um, influencing some sweet and loving vibrations, influencing some positive remembrance, and getting you talking and probably healing. Um, 
healing is a big one. If you've had a big breakup or a breakup in general, chances are there's some hurt feelings there. There's a little bit of a mess there. There's some sadness. Um, so we've got to, you know, if it's a particularly strong case where there's been a lot of hurt in place, then we've got to really work on that healing and that trust. So sometimes that's a, a two or three part step. Um, very often we can just put some healing and trust in the reconciliation work itself. So these are highly unique, highly customized services that really depend on your specific needs. And it's never just about drawing you back together. It's never that simple. Um, let's see, what else is on my notes here? It's really important for you to have a practical plan of action in place to go along with your spiritual work, the work that you're going to receive on a spiritual level and or the magical work that you are participating in. Um, just like most other goals, just like if you wanted to get a job, you're not just going to do magic to get a job. You actually have to put your resume together or fill out some applications, right? You, you're not just going to sit in your home and wait for the job to fall into your lap. Um, it's the same with this. You want to be working on yourself. You want to make sure that you are um, getting to the place where you need to be in order to create a healthy, happy, joyous uh, reconciliation and relationship. Sometimes that might mean facing some things about yourself that are not very easy to face, but that is, you know, that is part of growing in life. So a successful reconciliation is going to mean um, coming to terms with the role that you have played in your relationships and <clears throat> the way that the ways in which you need to improve yourself in order to be a part of creating maintaining and sustaining a healthy and happy relationship so you may have to really come to to terms with some things about yourself there and typically i try to talk about that stuff with my clients we do talk it through um it can be difficult but i'm not the the kind of person or the kind of spiritual worker who's going to ignore glaring problems if they're in my face i will try to speak to you about it and try to help you work through it um oftentimes reconciliation is you know, the, when the client comes to me, they're in a, they're stressed, they're sad, they have anxiety. This is a difficult situation to be separated from a person that you love. So I do typically also offer um, tips and tricks and information to help relieve anxiety, to help get you in a good mental place, to help bring your thinking back to positivity. I may recommend spiritual baths. In fact, I very often recommend spiritual baths. Um, I may recommend specific meditations. I probably will send you a link of a free guided meditation that I have that helps you get in touch with your heart center. Um, I recommend other kinds of mental exercises, prayer, uh, things of that nature. So depending on the case, I also help with those symptoms. The thing is you really want to be um, in a positive frame of mind and you you want to be thinking of the energy and the circumstances that you want to draw into your life and that positive outcome is what you need to be focused on. You can't be worrying and anxious and worried that maybe the, the um, results won't come out the way that you want. Um, obsessive kinds of thinking, obsessive worrying, negative thinking, not only is that harmful to you and harmful to your relationship, and not only will it get in the way of what you actually want, but it's harmful to the magical work as well. Um, so you really, it's important to be in the right um, mental state, and I will put a, some effort into um, working on that with you. But the the bulk of the work is up to you. You need to work on your mental state. You need to work on your feelings. Um, you need to be willing to put some work forth to get what you want out of life. So those things are really important. And like I said, it's also important to think about how you're going to maintain that relationship. So it's not just about how you um, are dealing with the breakup and getting into a positive state of mind in order to draw positive energy back to you. It's also about do you have the skills and the knowledge and the characteristics needed in order to make a happy, healthy relationship work? 
Sometimes people come to me and they think that they want something or they want something, but they don't necessarily have the skills or um, knowledge in order to actually um, make that thing work. So even if they get it, they're most likely not going to be able to hold on to it because they need to know how to then act in that situation and maintain that situation. Um, so, you know, you have to be thinking about the way that you should, you need to develop as a person um, and what mistakes that you may have made and where you can grow, how you're willing and able to work on yourself. And, you know, it's not just going to help you in a relationship, it's going to help you in life. So this is about um, being proactive in life and being uh, willing to be open to growth right? So those are some very important aspects of reconciliation work from my perspective. Um, some other things to take into consider consideration are how long you've been broken up, um, how long you were together in the first place, how meaningful the relationship was. If you come to me and you tell me that you met somebody on Instagram three weeks ago and that you had a really hot and heavy internet relationship for two weeks and now you want them back, I'm probably going to say this is not a case I'm going to take. Um, this is serious work for me. Spiritual work is serious work. I'm not going to draw somebody back into your life just because on a whim you want that person in your life. Uh, reconciliation work is for situations where people are in love, people are um, dedicated to each other, and people want to be together, but they have had some problems getting there, right? And they need some help. And then that's where I come in. I can help. Um, I am not going to, I'm probably not going to help you in a relationship where somebody barely knows that you exist, but you are infatuated with them. I'm probably not going to help you in a relationship where you've been broken up for four years but you can't stop thinking about the person. Um, there are a lot of times when this is impractical. So like I said, all of the circumstances, all of the variables matter um, and this work is for situations where people are in love and you know they just need some help in order to get to that next level or in order to get over some hurt in order to get over some um, difficult feelings or some difficult circumstances in order to come back together into a loving healthy relationship and there are all kinds of ways that I can determine if it's um, if it's a case that I think is worth the reconciliation or not worth it but is um, you know I that I can consider what the best approach is for you for your highest chances of success. Um, as far as the methods used for reconciliation, um, I have all kinds of methods that I use, just like any other work. Um, there's you, you can take all kinds of different approaches, whether it's a vigil candle, whether, whether it's a um, larger working, or whether it's a sweetening jar. Um, those do also depend on the circumstances and characteristics of the case. I've heard some people say that a sweetening jar is the best method for reconciliation if you've been broken up for six months or more. I tend to disagree with that. Um, from my perspective, a sweetening jar works subtly, slowly, and naturally over time, causing um, change to happen naturally and the change to build upon itself and increase over time. That is better for a situation such as you're broken up but now you're talking. Um, you've made some pro progress already but you could really use some help in kind of sweetening up the energy and in influencing some some love and in influencing some loving thoughts and some positive actions in the situation and kind of gaining some favor and um, really influencing more loving vibrations, things of that nature. That's when I feel a sweetening jar is really appropriate for reconciliation. Um, a larger working, what I call my, my deluxe root work, uh, a larger candle working such as th that 
is really beneficial when you need some big power, when you need to really um, affect change at, at, in a big way and you need to put a lot of energy into it. Those are the services that I put the most energy into. They're the most time consuming in terms of preparing the candles and all of the energy that is put into the candles and, and the ingredients used. Um, they don't necessarily burn the longest. A vigil candle burns the longest, but they still have more energy put into them because of all the preparation that goes into them. Um, in terms of how long the candles actually burn, they burn a little bit quicker. It usually takes two to three days for those candles to be completely burned out. And sometimes, such as in this case of reconciliation with the deluxe root working, I find that that shorter burn time actually creates a stronger burst of energy. So different services do offer different kinds of results and different lengths of, of um, different different lengths of time in terms of results. Uh, a vigil candle is really good for all kinds of situations. Um, something that I really like about the vigil candles is that they are burning on my altar for 7 to 14 days and they tend to offer really, it, the change is a, a little bit slower kind of like the sweetening services but they also tend to offer sustained change or change that is going to last and stick over time. So even though they're a simpler service, um, and I don't necessarily put, they're not as time consuming in terms of preparing the candles, the energy that comes from them from their burn time offers a sustained kind of energy which really affects change over time as well. And those, those are very versatile. They can be used in all kinds of circumstances. So those are um, my three different approaches in terms of the, the actual physical approach to the magic for reconciliation work. And those are some of my viewpoints on reconciliation. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like the video, share the video, comment. Um, do not hesitate to ask me if you have questions about anything that I've mentioned here or uh, anything that I've mentioned in other videos. If you'd like me to elaborate on something or answer a question, I'm happy to do so in a future video. I also love to take your suggestions, so please submit your suggestions for future videos and I am open to those. Thanks so much and have a good day.